Well, we're up here at Machu Picchu. There's lots of people here today. But it's really quite incredible. So we're up here at the top of Machu Picchu, kind of looking down. We've got to walk around a couple areas here. Lots of walking, lots of stairs here. Lots of good things to see. And here's some more Machu Picchu from the other side. I just about tripped on the stairs and fell. Good stuff. Nice shot of the Inca village, the town here at Machu Picchu. The beautiful mountains that surround it. It's amazing. On the grassy area here. Looking up. There's Janae coming down the stairs. Mark. And here is Machu Picchu. So, Hiram, Hiram Bingham from Yale University discovered Machu Picchu in 1911, but was actually looking for El Dorado, the lost city of gold. And when Machu Picchu was discovered, when he showed up, there were actually families living here, farming the area. So it was basically just rediscovered. And not finding all the gold he was looking for, he and his team continued on. But they did come back the next year and get rid of the jungle that had totally overgrown the city. So Machu Picchu was originally built to be a new capital of the Incan Empire um, by a warrior king uh, who won a battle in Cusco. And he wanted to have a city that was protected, hidden, and great vantage points. They couldn't be attacked by all the warring factions in the, Inca, in the Incan tribes. So this is how the city became to be back in 1430. And you can see up in this mountain top right there, there's uh, it's a military lookout. The city itself was only for royalty. And there was probably about seven or eight hundred people that lived here. But the city itself never got finished because after he died, for various reasons, it just didn't continue. And here's a, kind of a housing section, subdivision. Yeah, lots of homes. I understand there's 174 home sites here in Machu Picchu. So four to six people per house, what, seven, eight hundred? And this is the reality of Machu Picchu. All these people. It's crazy. It's almost impossible to get a shot of anything without somebody in the picture. Principal plaza of Machu Picchu, and it's the temple. And this is kind of the walls of what's left up here in the temple. This was the sacrificial altar for llamas and alpacas. So on the sacrificing of the llamas and alpacas, they would slice a, a hole in the belly and reach up in and pull the beating heart out. And that was the animal sacrifice that they did here at this altar. This is the temple of the three windows, and the three windows represented the uh, spiritual realms, or the upper, the middle, and the lower um, worlds. And no one knows what the real name of this temple was. In fact, Machu Picchu is the name of the mountain. It's not the city. The Incan name of the city has been lost. So here is a lower level view looking up. 
different areas in Machu Picchu. We just walked through a housing sector. And it was very interesting. But uh, so many people. There's another view looking out the doorway of a house out into Machu Picchu. This is the Temple of the Condor. There's the wings. And there's the head. And there are a lot of ass people here. After our visit at Machu Picchu, we're ready to get on a bus and head back into Aguas Calientes, where we came from. And there's a long line as you wait for the bus. And it has started pouring rain. So we were very fortunate because our entire time was almost without rain. Making progress. That's our line way back there. At least now we're under an overhang. 